What's up, Fishbox friends? What's up? What's up? New week. New week. Had a great weekend. It was Easter weekend. My sister got engaged. Got to hang out with the fam all weekend. Ate great food. Great dessert. Got to relax a little bit. Got this little kink in my neck, though. I don't, you know how a kink in your neck is. You get a kink in your neck, and it just don't go away the next day. So today is Monday the 18th, and uh, I think it's going to be a good day today. It's a little cold today. We had some great weather over the weekend, but we're going to make do. So... Fortunately, Amazon psh, over the weekend left packages outside, but I'm not sure if you can see, but right by my bike there, right there, there's a camera that records everything outside. And so if we see packages left outside, we bring them inside. So I'm gonna make these packages disappear on the shelves and in the bins, and uh, I'll see you in a little bit. So good news, so we got a new customer. It was actually over the weekend on Easter Sunday. You gotta really be missing a lot of packages to sign up for Fishbox on a holiday, especially Easter Sunday. But either way, I definitely appreciate the person that signed up. I'm gonna add them to this app that I use called Envoy, which allows me to keep track of all the customers and all the packages. And I would suggest that if you are a mailbox store owner and you can swing it, I think it's about $300 a month, it's expensive, but Aside from Stripe, it's one of my favorite pieces of software that I use to run Fishbox. So I'm gonna fill out this 1583, and I gotta come up with something special when I get a new customer, whether it's gonna be a bell or something special, but we gotta, we gotta come up with something special to do. It is 11.35 and it is beautiful outside. If y'all haven't checked out that vlog from Friday, a day in the life of a mailbox store, check that drone out. All right, so it's, it's about 10.30, it's still pretty early today at Fishbox, got a long way to go, but we got some cool things that we gotta do today. One of which is I gotta send out a newsletter. But sending a newsletter out is a great thing to do. One, to, just to let customers know any updates that are going on in the store, one of which being the new mask mandate, and two of which being that prices are gonna have to go up because gas prices are going crazy now and I still have to deliver packages, which means I have to use a car and they raise the prices on me. So unfortunately, we got to pass that on to the customer, but I'm sure customers will understand prices are getting raised everywhere. But also within the newsletter, I'm going to be telling them about the vlog. I haven't told anybody about the vlog yet. I told my mom about it. I told like some family friends about it, but I haven't told any customers about it. So I'm a little nervous one because it'll kind of let them know what goes on behind the scenes and it'll let them know more of who I am. But two, I don't even know if they'll watch it or like it. So. We'll see what else we can accomplish today, and uh, hopefully we'll get a good response when it comes to the vlog. All right, so I just finished the outline for the for the uh, newsletter, and I'm going to show it to you guys real quick. Uh, new mask policy, which I explained a little bit earlier. I'm going to introduce the vlog. Got to raise prices for delivery items. April means seven years at Fishbox. And I think to celebrate that, we'll do a little giveaway this month. So uh, I'm thinking about giving away... I don't know. We'll give away something, but uh, I'll let you guys know what it is. We're about to send the fish box newsletter out. And it's out there. So it's about 11.30. Amazon just showed up and they dropped off all this. This is actually kind of a light day for a Monday, so I wouldn't be surprised if a whole other truck doesn't come a little bit later and drops off some more packages. But uh, what I'm going to do now is... When it Write down the numbers on all these packages. I'm gonna scan the packages and then I'm gonna put them away. So uh, I'll run a little B-roll so y'all can check that out.
USPS just arrived in one, two, three. Yo, look at this. 11 subscribers, we hit double digits, y'all. <laughs> All right, so uh, DHL just showed up a little while ago. And one thing you'll notice in starting your mailbox store is that DHL usually only delivers the international packages. And so when Fishbox first started, I would probably get a DHL package like once a month. Now we get a DHL package every single day. All right, so the FedEx guy just pulled up. His name is Dez, also a cool guy. Uh, I'm gonna go outside, help him. He got a bunch of packages. There's a lot of traffic outside and I'm gonna set y'all up to see kind of what the process is like. USPS just got here, dropped off these, and it may not look like much, but uh, there's a bunch of small packages in here around this size, and let's see if we can find some mail. Oh, can't find it yet, but it's probably in the bottom of one of these, but believe it or not, there might be 70 packages in here, so uh, stay tuned. <laughs> All right, what up, y'all? So one of the Fishbox customers actually donated this to Fishbox. Actually, she gave it to me. She got it for work and didn't need it, so she thought it would be great to give it to me. And uh, I definitely accepted that, and I appreciate that. So I'm gonna open this up now, and, and let's see what it is. So, Actually, she she told me that she gave me something and this isn't really it. So what I'm wondering is she meant to give me another box and gave me this instead. It looks like it's a yoga mat. So uh, yeah, we got a yoga mat, but I don't think it's mine. All right, so as it turns out, customer actually said that we can have this. So it was a little mix up, but we got it straightened out. So this is our gift, the uh, yoga mat. And man, this is probably the best yoga mat that I've ever had in my life. Good old fashioned Casey Dan vlog in Dubai. So shout out to Casey Neistat. Just posted a vlog recently and come on. If anybody is vlogging nowadays, it's because of this guy. Or at least you saw one video by this guy or somebody that you watch was inspired by this guy. So shout out to Casey Neistat. Hopefully one day, fingers crossed, my vlog can be as big as yours, bro. Hi, we back YouTube, we back. So I want to tell y'all a quick story. The very first time that I ever, ever, ever lost a package at Fishbox. Now, let me make one thing clear. I've probably had about at least, at least 125,000 packages. So it might be close to like 200,000 packages that ever arrived at Fishbox. And the first one that I ever lost, and this might have happened maybe two or three times, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I think I lost three packages Two of them were not my fault, one of them was. But out of all those packages, the very first time that I ever lost a package was 17, 16 maybe? So a uh, very long, about six years ago, when I was working, started Fishbox out of my apartment, every day I would come pick the packages up at the place that I was renting to keep the packages. Then I would bring them back to my apartment and I would deliver all the packages for the day. But sometimes there were customers that didn't want packages delivered on that day, so I, I just, I don't know why I made this mistake, but I left the packages in the car only one time thinking, you know what, there's not going to be any issue. As you can guess, I woke up the next day and I saw the car was broken into and I saw that they stole the package out of the back. Actually, they didn't steal the package. They opened it up and realized it was just a bunch of clothes and left it there. But that was the very first time that that ever happened to me. And I was only in business for less than two years or so. And I thought that was really going to ruin my reputation. But I kept moving forward and customers were extremely uh, accepting of a new business and somebody that's doing this for the first time. So it didn't, it didn't kill the business, but I take this very seriously, and that was the very first time that I ever lost a package at Fishbox. Alright, what's up YouTube? So it's a little bit after 5, and USPS just got here. 
uh, crazy delay, all the traffic and everything, and it's raining outside. I actually feel bad for these guys, but they work really hard, and these girls work really hard for UPS, so I'm going to set the camera up and show all the packages coming in, and hopefully I can make these disappear really quickly, and it's not too crazy around rush hour. Alright y'all, just finished putting away all the UPS packages and pretty much winding down the day. It's around 5.30 but it's raining outside and usually when it gets towards the end of the day and it's raining, people usually don't make it out to pick up packages, which I don't, bl I don't blame you at all. I wouldn't do that either because it's still a little bit cold outside. But I got a little package today. I'm going to do an unboxing for y'all. I'm a little bit of a hype beast as well. So, uh, you know, I think we all have a little hype beast in us. So I got a little something here. It says shop at the top. So if y'all y'all know anything about streetwear and you see that shop on the label, you know exactly what this is. So let's see. Supreme blessed us with some more stickers. That was cool. I think this one is cool too. This one's real cool. It's just a little subtle there, you know? I have no clue what this says. So if this is anything, profanity or anything like that, I apologize. And uh, I think this is okay. Yo. So you know the warm weather is coming when these things start showing up. When these things start showing up, it's almost like a Christmas tree showing up in like September. <laughs> but they're showing up now. We're gonna get a lot of these this year, I'm sure. And uh, you know, this is the first one of the season so far. All right, what's good Fishbox friends? So the day is over. <laughs> so kind of a laid back day it was pretty chill because it was raining outside and usually people don't come out in the rain but again i want to thank y'all for supporting your boy i think last time i checked we had 12 new subscribers or 12 subscribers which is 50 percent more than we had yesterday so i appreciate y'all and i'll keep putting out some content as long as y'all keep liking it so i'll catch y'all on the next one peace